I'm Adrian, the Cruise and Travel Guy. I produce cruise-related videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date. For today though, come with me on a full walking tour of the Carnival Luminosa. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Carnival Luminosa is a hybrid Vista Spirit class ship. At just under 93,000 gross tons, she has a double occupancy capacity for 2,260 guests. We'll begin the tour all the way forward on Deck 3. The Luminosa Theatre is the main show lounge on board, where you'll watch a variety of entertainment from production shows to comedy galas. The upper balcony level provides a clear perspective towards the stage. The lower, main level offers lounge-style seating with plenty of space to walk between aisles, even when other passengers are seated. The theatre provides good line of sight towards the stage from most seats. Exiting the theatre on Deck 2, the forward elevator bank gives way to the Ocean Plaza. This large, multi-purpose lounge space is often used for events like trivia and hosted games. There are plenty of lounge-style seats, with tables and armchairs available also. A recurring source of enjoyment for myself on board was related to the number of windows around the ship, and the Ocean Plaza offers them on both sides. There's also a full-service bar. Walking aft, you'll find the entrance to the large casino, plus one of Luminosa's specialty dining venues, Bonsai Sushi. The sushi bar offers an a la carte menu of sushi rolls and sashimi, with items priced individually. The casino spans the full width of Deck 2 and offers a variety of machines and table games to play during open hours. It was a popular place by night and on sea days. While the adults play on their machines, the kids can play on a set of their own at the Warehouse Arcade. There's a range of arcade-style games and skill tester machines. As with the casino, you can scan your sale and sign card in order to pay and play. Exiting the arcade and continuing aft, you'll find yourself in the midship lobby called the Supernova Atrium. The Supernova Bar is a popular hangout day and night, especially if you enjoy an espresso martini. Here is where you'll find Luminosa's mascot of sorts, Donna. The almost 3.5 metre bronze sculpture was crafted in 2004 and weighs one tonne. The panoramic glass elevators span all the way from Deck 1 to Deck 10, providing a thrilling look at Luminosa's evocative interiors. The main lobby is also where you'll find the Carnival Adventures tour desk for making sure excursion reservations on board.
the main guest reception desk is tucked away in the furthest corner. A variety of seating nooks and lounges provide ample space to while away an evening or day at sea in comfort. Nearing the aft end of Deck 2, you'll find the entrance to the two-level Altair nightclub. This shiny venue is where you'll find the DJ playing sets until the early, early hours of the morning. There is a full service bar in here as well, plus a dance floor and seating areas. The spiral staircase provides access to the upper level. Much smaller than the main level, the balcony provides a great view of the action below. There are also additional seating areas. Back outside, you'll find without a doubt one of the most popular evening venues on board. Piano Bar 88 is the perfect pre or post dinner meeting spot. With live music setting the ambience, you'll find a range of delicious cocktails and drinks at the bar and terrific views of the sunset from the expansive windows. The piano bar gives way to the aftmost elevator bank and stairwell, which is also the lower entrance lobby to the main dining room. First though, we'll look at the Archipelago Restaurant Annex, which on board Luminosa acts as Sapori di Cucina. The Italian specialty dining venue is open on sea days for lunch at $45 per person. The Vela restaurant is the main dining room on board Luminosa. The two-level venue is expansive, offering both anytime dining and traditional dining. You can choose between the two when you make your reservation. My recommendation is to choose anytime dining. Many cruise lines have failed at properly implementing a workable anytime dining system, but Carnival's is one of the best. Using the Carnival Hub app while on board, you simply request a table when you're ready to dine and you'll receive an alert when it's ready. You'll have 10 minutes to make your way to the restaurant. At peak times, it may take 30 or so minutes, but if you're flexible and want a true anytime dining experience, it's almost fun to request your table and enjoy some time in another venue while waiting. You can also add other guests to your dining request and choose between sharing a table or having your own. Now on deck three and walking forward, you'll find one of the most fun bar venues on board. Alchemy Bar is a carnival specialty with crafted gourmet cocktails on offer nightly. The only downside here is the location, feeling more like a thoroughfare than an actual bar venue. Walking forward still, we pass the Carnival Fun Shop and get a look at the upper level of the Supernova Atrium. On either side, you'll find the Pixels Photo Gallery, where you can review the photos that the ship's photographers have taken and purchase those you like.
Walking into the midship elevator bank, we'll find the entrance to Circle C. This venue is part of the Kids Club offering and is tailored for children between the ages of 12 and 14. The ship's library is located next to the club. Continuing forward on Deck 3, the Galleria shops offer everything from snacks to high-end designer labels, alcohol and cosmetics. Generally open while the ship is at sea, the shops are definitely a popular venue. Through the shops, we find Java Blue. This coffee shop is unsurprisingly busiest during the morning. There are a range of barista-made coffees on offer, including those that have a little extra kick for the adults. There's also a range of complimentary Danish-style pastries available, plus others that can be purchased, like donuts and muffins. The Limelight Lounge was used as the Punchline Comedy Club on our sailing. The contemporary bar is open during showtime. I recommend getting there early in order to guarantee a seat. Art auctions were also held in this venue. At the forwardmost elevator bank, we'll head all the way up to Deck 9. Walking outdoors, this is where you'll find the main Lido deck and pool. There is only one main pool on board Luminosa and this is it. The area is understandably very popular, especially with families and children, and it can become crowded throughout the day. There are a number of lounges on this lower level and more on deck 10 above which we'll see later in the tour. This is also where you'll watch movies at the aptly named Dive-In Movie Theatre. There are two large hot tub jacuzzis as well. Unlike Sydney-based Carnival Splendour, Luminosa has to make do with the Red Frog Rum Bar instead of Pub. It takes over what would regularly be a pool bar. Along the ship's starboard side, you'll find a drink station with complimentary coffee and cold drinks like water and iced tea throughout the day. Opposite is a complimentary soft serve machine. The Off The Grill Burger Bar is another complimentary dining venue, with several burger types on offer throughout the day, making a perfect poolside snack. On the port side, you'll find the taco and burrito bar, with complimentary food of the same name available daily. Indoors, you'll find the entrance to the Lido Marketplace. Noticeably absent of hand wash stations, I also thought there could have been more hand sanitizer stations made available for use. The buffet is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner daily. Seating booths plus tables and chairs run along both sides of the space, with large windows providing a nice view out. The Deli and Pizzeria del Capitano are two excellent complimentary dining venues, offering freshly made deli-style sandwiches and rolls, and of course, pizza. The Pizzeria is open until 3am daily, so it's the perfect place for a late night snack. There are self-serve drink stations with tea, iced tea, water and coffee throughout the day. On each side of the buffet, there are crew-served food stations, each offering a variety of things at different hours, including breakfast staples in the morning and all manner of savoury items during the day and night, like roast meats, vegetables and pastas. The layout of the buffet can make it difficult to move around, especially during busy times. It's also the main thoroughfare to the adults-only Serenity area, which we'll see shortly. At the aft end of Deck 9, you'll find the entrance to the adults-only area called Serenity. With access limited to those over the age of 18, Serenity is advertised as allowing you to forget the carnival-style excitement and instead sit back, relax and enjoy your time on board. 
There's a full service bar and outdoor shaded seating area. The main pool is flanked by padded lounge chairs, plus shaded pod style lounges suitable for two people line the edge of the deck space. These pods prove so popular that getting one is almost an art form, if that art form involves waking up before 7am. There are also two hot tub jacuzzis. On the port side, you'll find an additional outdoor dining venue, offering complimentary barbecue staples throughout the day. Up the aft outdoor stairs, the Sunset Bar beckons. This contemporary space is a popular venue, becoming the perfect place to enjoy an evening sail away. Up again to deck 11, you'll find free to use binoculars, plus access to the sports court. Peering down along the port side of the ship, you can see the one and only designated smoking area on board on Deck 10. Walking forward on Deck 11, you'll come across what has to be one of the smallest jogging tracks at sea. But first, we'll head down to Deck 10 on the starboard side and discover the putting green. Further forward of here is also where you'll find Club 02, for kids aged 15 to 17. Back up to deck 11, you can get a better view of that small jogging track. At only 97 meters around, it takes almost 17 laps to complete a mile. Personally, I prefer to use the track as my loop point and would walk all the way forward and around the front of the ship, which we'll do together in a moment. From here, you can see the retractable roof over the main Lido pool area. This roof was kept open on our voyage, but in inclement or cooler weather, it can be closed to create a protected indoor pool space. One of the things I loved about Luminosa was the expansive outer decks and all of the vantage points that they offered. Luminosa will be based in North America for the Alaska season from mid-2023 and her expansive outer decks will make her a good cruising choice for the region. Continuing around and all the way past the retractable roof of the Lido pool, we'll use what I call the secret stairs to head down to Deck 10 midship. This upper level of the Lido pool offers undercover seating and lounges, with a view of the movie screen and the action below. The unmarked door on the left provides access to the outer level, which leads through to the putting green and Club 02. Jumping to the forward elevator bank on Deck 10, you'll have access to the Kids Club area called Camp Ocean. Tailored for kids between the ages of 2 and 11, the services include Night Owl in Centre Babysitting for $8 per hour per child between 9pm and midnight. 
On the starboard side, you'll find the entrance to the Cloud9 Fitness Center. The gym is on the smaller side, but offers a fair range of weight and cardio equipment, with large windows providing great ocean views. Down to deck 9 and still forward, you'll find the entrance to the Cloud9 Spa and Thermal Suites. There are a range of services for purchase, from massages and facials to body wraps. The broader Thermal Suite area includes an aroma steam room, immersive showers and saunas. There's also a hydrotherapy pool with views of the ocean through the large windows. We'll ride the midship panoramic elevators up to deck 10 to Fahrenheit 555. The classic steakhouse is arguably the best restaurant on board. At around $65 per person, dinner here is a worthwhile treat. Sitting atop the atrium, there are great views outside, with friendly professional servers offering an upmarket dining experience for those special occasions on board. Finally, I wanted to give a special mention to the real promenade deck. Although you can't walk all the way around it as the bow section is accessible by crew only, it's a fantastic spot to connect to the ocean when on board Luminosa. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Carnival Luminosa. If you're ready to book a cruise on her or any other ship, you can head to my website, thecruiseandtravelguy.com.au. And if you like, you can give me a follow on Facebook and Instagram at the Cruise and Travel Guy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.